So in the previous video, Zach showed you how you configure DNS settings for Cloudflare. I want to show you now how to configure DNS setting for GoDaddy. Now, pretty much the steps are the same. You just need to go to the DNS configuration page for each of the provider, for whatever provider it is where you're housing your domain. In this case, I'm going to do GoDaddy. So I'm already logged in into my GoDaddy account. And what I want to do is go under my name and I'm going to go ahead and select my products. And what I'm searching for is the domain that I want to connect with System.io, the domain that I just purchased. So I am scrolling down and it's giving me my list of products. Um, I am going to select Manage All. You will probably find it easier because if this is your first domain purchase with GoDaddy, it's going to immediately show right, right away in the front of the page. Um, but if you have multiple like me, uh, you want to search. So I am going to search for my domain. And this is the domain that I want to use as an example. So I'm going to select the domain. And there's different places that you can go for DNS configuration. You can go here on the left, or you can go here. Either one is the same. So I'm just going to click on DNS, and it's going to take me to the DNS record. And these are all the DNS record for this domain, OK? Now I'm going to go to System.io, because that's where I'm going to connect my domain. So you're going to highlight here. Most likely, you don't have your face. You just have an icon and select Settings. And you're going to go to Custom Domain. And I am going to add a domain. And in this case, it's www.mytimemyterms.com. And I'm going to save it. OK, so my domain is added, and it gives me the DNS configuration that I need to add to GoDaddy. Now, very important, you are only going on the left side of these selections, you are only going to use what's in front of the period, OK? So in this case, it's just www. So now I go to GoDaddy. And I'm going to see, you notice that GoDaddy already has www as one of the names. I do not need to add another www, but I do need to add, update the data. So I'm going to go back to System.io. And in this case, I want to select the right side, which is the data. So I'm going to highlight everything. And I'm going to right click, copy. Now I'm going to go daddy again, and I just want to update this. There's no need to add another one. Uh, you shouldn't add another one. You should just edit the existing www. And it's only because GoDaddy already creates one. Now I do want to select all of this, and I just backspace to make sure that I'm starting from a clear field. And I'm just going to paste it. OK, and I could save it. That's one part. It's a two part change. Now here, very important, just select everything before the period. You do not need to enter the name of domain again, OK? Just right before the period, and you right click and you copy, OK? And this time, you're going to go to GoDaddy. And that's not listed in the name. So in this case, you're going to add a new record. OK? And what we're adding is a C name. So you're going to go to the drop down and select C name. And the name is what I have already copied. So I'm now going to paste it here. Now I'm going to go back to System.io. 
and I'm going to take the entire right portion of the fields and I'm copying right click copy again go to GoDaddy and here I'm gonna right click and paste and I'm going to save it okay that's how you update the DNS record or configure the DNS settings okay now it does take about 30 minutes or so before you see it configured so when you go to system my own you won't need this anymore once you copy and paste it so you can close it but you see that it's showing pending validation i'm going to refresh just to show you but it does take about 30 minutes for this to properly validate so it says pending validation so now what i'm going to do is you're going to go back to godaddy because we're going to take another step here okay and we're going to go we're still in the same dns right and this section is complete but now we want to go to forwarding so click on forwarding and we want to add a forwarding for the domain why because if you don't forward your domain to www.yourdomain.com when people enter just the the domain without www they will get error message they will need to always enter it with the www dot in front of it and you don't want that most of us will go to google.com we don't go to www.google.com so to avoid any error messages um, for your potential customers you're going to add the forwarding okay and you're going to select https and you're going to enter www and your domain in my case my example is my time myterms.com okay you're going to select permanent because this is the permanent forwarding again https the name of the domain with the www and then save it and this will prevent customers your prospects from having to type the www in front of it each and every time Okay, now I'm going to pause the video and come back to show you that in System.io, this pending validation will change to ready to use like you see all these other domains. So I will pause the video and come back to show you. Actually, before I pause, I am going to go to www dnschecker.org. Now, this is just like a, a, a check and balance just to see whether you make the changes necessary because it's possible that you can see that the changes you've done are correct, but there's just still a, a delay before System.io shows us as ready. So you just enter with the www, the domain name that you just added to GoDaddy. In this case is my time my terms.com and you're going to select C name and then search okay as you can see this is propagating meaning that it's going around all the networks um, and as you can see I scroll down so everything is pointing that I did everything correct so again in a few minutes we should be um, ready to go. So again, I am going to pause the video again and be right back. Okay guys, I am back. And as you can see, I refreshed my screen already and mytimemyterms.com, which is the domain that I just added, is ready for use. So we're ready to rock and roll. In our next video, I am going to show you how we're going to upload the logo that we created and also how we're going to create a fabric in. So I will be back and see you in the next video.